Alright, hi guys, here's a um, quick test of the Chrome box that I've just uh, recently bought. Um, I've connected it up to my HDMI on my television and I've connected up a USB keyboard and mouse and we're ready for the first ever power on of this device. Now, there doesn't seem to be a power switch or anything on this thing so I've no idea how you turn it on so I'm quite literally just going to plug the power connector in and see if anything happens um, and nothing has happened I guess I probably should read the manual regarding this thing but I can see no method of switching this device on there's no switches there's nothing I'm going to uh, go and test something for a second and uh, let's just Hmm. No, nothing at all. I'll be back in a moment. Okie dokie. Here we are, 30 seconds later. I've looked at the manual. Uh, there's a switch on the side, on the diagonal corner that's cut off. I hadn't actually seen that before. There's a little power switch. Anyway, press that power switch. A little white LED comes on. So I'm just going to stick that down there and just let this do its thing. Okay, so... First thing first, it powered up really quickly. Um, the resolution of my telly is 1366 by 768 or something like that, so it's uh, not particularly the best. Um, so I'm just going to try to connect to Wi-Fi. Interestingly, it can see 2 gig and 5 gig Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to try to connect it to 5 gig. The resolution is horrible. Um, so it's nearly unreadable. I think I just mistyped my password there actually from my Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, I did. Okay, right, let's just try that again. Uh, 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 That's better. It should work this time. So connecting to the network. Um, um, just going to stop this... Uh, camera down a little bit just to stop that uh, horrible overexposure. Sorry about that. Right, so that's it saying it's probably connected. Let's go to continue. User agreement, optional user agreement, yeah, yeah, yeah. Accept and forward. Chrome automatic updates. So Chrome will update. Let's just see if that uh, is a bit on the bright side. It may be my television just so let me just check. Um, right, I'm just going to take that brightness down a bit. Certainly makes it more readable to me. It's a lot less uh, blinding now. Okay, so uh, downloading about two minutes left. So let me just pause this video and I'll come back in a moment. So downloading less than a minute left seems to be moving on at a reasonable speed. I've got a 3, nearly 4 megabyte per second download. So I've got a decent connection speed. Um, seems to be pulling quite a lot of data. Um, I'll just pause the video until it gets moving again. Okay, so that's the uh, Chromebox updating itself. It says finalising now. It did take about 3 maybe nearly four minutes to download so finalizing okay so it's asking me to log in so I'll log into my uh, gmail account here um, no idea what it's going to download here or show you but we'll try anything once and we can always uh, blank it if required so that's me put my username and my password in for my primary uh, uh, Gmail account, so it's syncing your preferences, so it's asking me who I am, so nah, I'll choose my picture, why not, that's me, a long time ago, a couple of years back, howdy Robert, take a tour, yeah, why not, okay, so play, edit, share, blah blah blah, next, hassle free, I'm going to click on that settings, no it wouldn't let me, okay, so next, and okay, finish, right, so, this is me raw to the system, so I've pretty much never seen this before. 
Um, I'm going to try to go into settings and see if I can do anything about this uh, screen resolution. Um, display settings. Uh, 1920 1080p, okay, 1280 by 720. Mm, it might be an improvement if my monitor does it. Yeah, that's fine. It's a bit stretched actually. Um, 1440 by 576. Uh, I'm not really sure about that one. Um, uh, no, the monitor doesn't like that. So um, we'll. Uh, leave that to come back and uh, hopefully reset itself in a second. I did notice there was the usual sort of Windows like counter saying that uh, it was reverting unless I changed it. Okay so 1920 1080p, let's go to 1280 by 720 and uh, the TV resets again and yeah that'll do. Okay right so where's that counter? No there's no counter I can't see it. Right, okay, so we'll see if we can get it to stick at that setting. Um, it's... Uh, you got to love these things where it changes and you just... Um, it's an interesting I issue because I can come in here and I can say display settings and I can choose 1280 by 720 it then changes the display and there we go, there's the accept button, I didn't see it for the life of me. Okay, so that's hopefully a lot more readable. Um, it seems to be based on uh, what I'm seeing with the camera. Okay, right, so... <clears throat> okay, never really seen this before, so let's start at the top. So, internet connection, Wi-Fi, allow proxies for shared, nah. Set wallpaper. Um, yeah, let's have some Mars, Mars rover things, right. Okay, Mars rover will do. Right, so, um, get themes, no. Hi, show home button, yes, absolutely, I hate when that home button goes missing. Mouse speed, mouse settings, I'm just going to increase that. Um, mouse settings, swap button, keyboard settings. Um, okay, this looks like where you can remap buttons if required. Um, don't really need to do any of that. Display settings, we've already seen. So, search. Um, Google search, funnily enough. Um, there's another bunch of search engines listed already. Google, AOL, Ask Search, Wikipedia, Ask, Yahoo, BitTorrent Control, what? and Bing. Um, there's me, there's my email address, I better edit that out later. Syncing, um, so sync everything, so it's probably syncing stuff already. Uh, set time zone, it's guessed correctly. Everything looks fine. So if I go into my bookmarks, um, this should hopefully have uh, uh, shown all my bookmarks. Yes, it's already downloaded all my bookmarks um, from my account, although no, it's still in the process. It seems to be a little bit slow, but it's starting to pick them up. Anyway, let's go to YouTube. YouTube.com So there's YouTube. Right, let's go to my account. Um, in fact, they've just changed everything. Let's go to my subscriptions and uh, let's choose a video I've already seen so I don't mess up my history. Um, it's interesting, it seems to be um, picking up different things. I don't know why, because it's in with the wrong profile probably. Let's swap to the correct profile and I guess it will work better now. Right, so um, my subscriptions, right, so I'll just uh, maximise that window. Right, here's one I watched earlier on the day, it was Griffin Hammond. Um, that's Amy, and that's Amy wearing my over the shoulder rig, which accompanied us on a recent trip to New York City. Okay. So there's Griffin Hammond doing his thing. Um, screen resolution looks fine, the speed seemed to be pretty decent, I have to say. I do notice that the resolution I've got this chosen and the tabs are slightly off screen um, and the corner buttons are all slightly off screen so I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't work with a non 1920 1080 screen but I guess we shouldn't really complain too much. It's certainly a little bit less convenient. Um, let's just out of curiosity go to speedtest.net 
Um, so it seems to load Flash OK. If I right click Flash Player 12.0.0.4.1. So let's just do a speed test, see what we get. So 8 millisecond ping. Um, seemed a bit unstable getting up there to the speed, but 31, 32 megabytes, megabits down and it should be approximately 2 up. It's usually just slightly over 2 on the up. So um, 1.8, 1.9, 6 it seems to have stopped at. So 32 and then 1.96 I guess that's fine. Um, let's see what other websites we can try. I mean it's just Chrome I guess so it should always work. Uh, let's just go to vimeo.com um, It wants me to log in? No, I don't think so. I can't remember my details and I've not set up LastPass yet so it won't work automatically. Right, so here's a video So Vimeo is playing HD 1080 I think at the moment um, I'm just going to turn the television volume down a bit. It's very dark on the camera, so I'll just open up a little bit again. So I have to say 1920-1080 output would be nice. Um, the current resolution looks fine. Um, Picture quality, yeah, it's pretty good. I uh, can't really flaw it. Um, let's just go back to YouTube again, and I think we're still logged into my channel. So let's have a look. Yep, there's ugly old me. Here's the video I uploaded a moment ago for the um, the watching the unboxing of this machine. So if I just throw this up to full screen. And it's currently on auto 720. If I try to force it to 1080, it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. It's interesting this video's overblown again. Let me just uh, stop down the camera and make that a bit more respectable. Okay, so um, generally this seems to be working fine. Uh, let's have a dig around Chrome again. If I right click on my username, so we've got Bluetooth enabled, disable. Um, let's enable Bluetooth. Um, I have no idea what that is. Um, I don't think um, I've got much in the way of Bluetooth on at the moment. Um, I might have Bluetooth on my Nexus 4. Oh yeah, that's an audio dongle that I've got plugged in, so that's came back with a name. So, Okay, so um, let's just go back into Bluetooth and disable Bluetooth. Yep, that seemed to work. So we'll click down here again, there's my username, I'll need to fix that again. Um, HDMI 3, so it's saying it's got an HDMI output. That's fine. And HDMI audio. Um, let's click on that one. So we've got power buttons down the bottom. If I click on the clock, it takes me straight back to Chrome for the time zone. Um, if I... Um, Um, let's see, I just click on that question mark. That opens up uh, connecting devices, managing apps. Okay, let's go down to this little button that's slightly off the screen. Okay, so that brings up uh, the things that are enabled. So, okay, so we've got Pixlr Editor. I've got that set up as a plugin into Chrome, so it looks like it's automatically uh, came in and um, it uh, seems to. Uh, generally be operating. Um, everything seems perfectly fine and fast. I'm actually quite impressed by it. Not impressed it didn't ask me to save though. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Um, Google Docs, we'll just click on that. I'll probably show all my docs here. No, that was a new document. Right, okay, let's try. Um, it's interesting now, of course, it's called Drive now, isn't it? So click on Drive. Interestingly, that brings up Jolly Cloud. Hmm. Okay, that looks like that's something. 
Um, I know what Jolly Cloud is, but I'm surprised it's already on this machine. I'm a bit confused by that. Let's go to Google Drive and you should see all my folders and things. Yeah, so there's my folders, there's my details. Um, I like the GoPro manual in PDF format, so I'll just page down on that. So, um, I'm quite impressed. I don't know where we can find out any more about performance or anything. Uh, camera? There's no camera anywhere, is there? Okay, that's good. You don't want to see me right now. I'm not overly dressed, let's say. Anyway, um, so if I click back on that icon there, there's not a lot to see. Um, okay, so very limited, very basic. Um, got volume control there, I don't know what that is, that's input, output. Okay, um, I'm just going to click on the Gmail icon and see what comes up. So it'll probably open up my Gmail, which it's about to do, that's fine. So I'll just blur that out in a minute, okay, but everything looks... Uh, congratulations, your video is on YouTube. So, you know, if you just need to... Pretty cool. Um, let's just hit the lock button and see what happens there. Yeah, so it just locks and it says I'm currently signed in. So, um, of course it wants me to log in with my Chrome. It wants me to log in with my Gmail account, which I've done again. Right, so, yeah. So, out of sheer curiosity, I'm going to sign out. And I'm going to try to log in as ad user. I'm going to try to try my best to log in as a. Oh, I remember I had to change my password on that account. That's annoying. Uh, login as an, an account I don't tend to use and this machine certainly hasn't ever seen um, to see how long it takes to come up again so syncing your preferences there we go click on the chess thing language has changed from English United Kingdom to English United change back requires a reset okay interesting so um, it seems fine um, it looks like it's just reset itself so I'll just log back in again and uh, see what comes up. So, you know, it's, it's swapping accounts, um, swapping usernames pretty well, actually. Um, I'm quite liking this. So, I just wish the uh, resolution was better on this monitor at uh, the non-optimum, let's see. But, you know, overall, Chrome OS. Um, yeah, browser only, of course very limited in what you can do with the machine but a cool a cool browse box and uh, as someone skateboards passed outside um, pretty decent that'll do for the video just now if there's anything else you want to see obviously feel free to get back in touch with us and uh, I'll uh, play around a bit further thanks for your time bye bye